Hey there, Dev Squad, Manuel here. Now that we've finished pretty much modeling our lamp, we need to get it into a correct state in order to bring it into our engine. Right now you're seeing the wireframe, but if I turn off the edges by pressing a four, you are going to see that our lamp is very faceted. And while this style goes into a very particular um, kind of art style for a game, it's not the one, the style that I'm after in this particular tutorial. So I'm going to introduce you to something called smoothing groups. And for this, I'm going to start with the base. So as you can see here in the base, you're gonna see that we have faceted edges around these places. But over here, it looks completely smooth. And this is an illusion that is created in 3D called smoothing. And what it does, it, it averages the normals from one vertice to another. And that has to do a lot with geometry and the reason why we want to keep quads all around as much as possible. So as you can see, this all have, if you're in 3 Studio Max, we have the smoothing groups. And if I click on this one, if you see it right here, these are the smoothing groups, you're going to see they all have the same number. What this number indicates is just an identity. It's not a value. So that means that one does the same thing as four and the same thing as 32. This is just an identity. So you can give whatever identity you want to your model. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one smoothing group to everything here and then we'll correct some things. So I'm going to select all polygons. I'm going to hit clear all. That's going to make it, make it faceted all around just to show you what happened after I cleared all the smoothing groups. You can see that this, which was smooth before, has gotten faceted now. So I'm going to select those back. I'm going to click on one smoothing group. This just means that everything has the same smoothing group. Okay. So as you can see, in this parts, we get very nice and smooth edges. Whereas in certain parts, we get this kind of like very bad shading. So there's, there are ways to take care of that kind of shading. One way is to add a little bit more geometry. So I'm just going to go back into the edge mode and I'm going to add more geometry around here. So I'm just going to select that and I'm going to chamfer very little. And when you're chamfering, if you're using the menu like I am, make sure you uncheck this because this will change your smoothing groups. So I'm going to chamfer very little. So something like 0 0.2. And as you can see, that took care of this side. Actually, if I go back, you can see that it looks smooth and it looks very weird. So if I go redo what I just did in chamfered, you can see that this now has a little bit of shape. Okay, and the same thing we have to do on the bottom. That's one way to do it is with chamfering. The other way to do it is by adding loops. So I'm going to add a loop here and that takes care of the terrible shading that I had down there. So we're going to keep doing it. I'm going to chamfer and use swift loop depending on the part. So in this parts, I don't want to add more uh, chamfering. I don't think I need that. So I'm just going to add some loops and I'm going to add a couple of loops here. And for these edges that are sticking out, I'm just going to chamfer them. 0.2 should be fine. Same deal with this one. I'm going to add loops here. There you go. And let's just keep going up. This is where we get this really terrible shading. I'm just going to add a couple of loops, one here, one here, and I'm just going to chamfer these two edges that are sticking out. Maybe let's do 0 0.15. OK, 
okay and now I'm going to press F4 to get rid of those edges and as you can see our base now has much better shape or actually has shape because before it was just one smooth blob now it has a great shape compared to what we had before we're going to do the same thing with this lamp right here now if we do add one smoothing group to everything we're going to need to add a lot of geometry to this lamp and that's going to take a lot of time so before we actually um, add more geometry what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute the smoothing group depending on the face so the reason why as you can see there are various faces going in different directions but they are smooth it together is because the smoothing groups are all the same so what we need to do to change that is go all around and select the face in the middle and we're going to change that smoothing group to some other number so I'm going to clear I'm going to select number two okay now as you can see that has much better form now I'm just going to select both top and bottom going to select number three because if we select number two it will just smooth it out from here to here so I'm going to select number three and as you can see that's already looking much better now we need to get the sides to be of a different smoothing group than these two around here so I'm just going to select all of them and there you go as you can see now we have our little pieces right here looking fine and for the rest of the lamp I'm just going to add more geometry so I'm going to bring by my edges so I can see what I'm doing and I'm going to add a loop here another loop here and I'm going to chamfer this Let's make it 0 0.4 or 0 0.3. Yeah, something very subtle. Okay. Got a chance for this one. Probably 0 0.2. And in here, we're just adding a swift loop. Okay, and as you can see, this takes a lot better form than we had before. So compare this lamp to this one right here. It's much different. So let's get into these lamps. And the beauty of these lamps is we only have to do it once. So let's get to it. Uh, one thing that's really cool about this program that we can do here is I can select this element and I can just high select it so it doesn't bother me while I'm working on the other element so I'm going to select this whole thing I'm going to add one smoothing group clear them all first add one and I'm going to get the same result that I used to have before so let's get cracking I'm gonna go a little bit faster this time Okay, I'm just using shortcuts to do another smoothing group. Uh, those are custom shortcuts. Go 
Okay. So now we just add the geometry like we used to on the other part. So I'm going to bring by my edges so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to chamfer this part. Let's chamfer the 0 0.2. Since this part's much smaller, let's do everything 0 0.2. And over here, we need to add geometry. Actually, we're going to chamfer that. So let me select this part. OK. We're about to finish with this part right here. One thing that I wanted to talk about before we are done is why am I doing these loops around here? The reason why I'm doing this and the reason why this works, so I'm going to get rid of the edges. You're not gonna see the edges. I know they are already there, but this is I need this to get my point across. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get rid of these edges. So see how it looks like this. When I apply a smoothing group, um, and like I mentioned before, what a smoothing group does is it tries to average the normals between the vertices, this being the normal or the face or the polygon, whatever you want to call it, and tries to averages, average it with some math that I'm not going to go into, um, creating this smoothing that you see here. So in order for there to be a differentiation in between these two pieces, what I need to do is either have them be different smoothing groups or I can add more geometry. And the reason why adding more geometry works is because then the normal gets average in between those two extra vertices that I'm now adding. So that's also the reason why I add those edges close to this edge right here as opposed to add the edge right here in the middle. So I do it here and here. And that one looks a little bit too big, so let's do 0 0.1. Let's do 0 0.1 on this one. Hmm. Yeah, let's chamfer this one right here. It'll look better. And let's just add geometry to this. Let's go back up. Let's chamfer this, and I think we need to chamfer the other one, too. Add geometry over here. And we need to chamfer these. Add geometry around this part. And we... Let me see. We are done. Yeah, we are done. You can see that top's looking all right. And let's see. Yeah, I missed that one here. So let's do it. That, there you go. Let's just chamfer this part. 0 0.1. Okay, just making sure we're good all around. Excellent. All right, now I'm going to unhide the handle. Just clicking on hide all. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the whole thing by going to element mode, select the whole thing, hold control to turn that selection into polygon selection and we're going to add one smoothing group okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn this caps into a couple triangles because just what i said i don't like having end guns right here so i'm going to do one another one and collapse we're going to do the same one over here I'm going to select this one and I'm going to hide it. Now I'm going to click on that end gun. I'm actually going to delete it. And I'm going to do one and another one and collapse it. Okay. And if you're looking at this faceting right here, just 
select your whole thing and add one smoothing group clear it add one smoothing group it should be fine all right if you want this to be a lot more round you can add more geometry around here a way to add geometry here is by using swift loop so if you add a swift loop and you hold shift here in 3 studio max it's going to try to match the curve like that and I actually like how that looks so I'm going to leave it out that way and I'm going to unhide all and we have finished modeling our lamp This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.